What's up Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video and today I'm going to feature a Patriots 50 out of 50 plus Bengals 25 out of 25 theme team. This will be the first time I've given some love to the Super Bowl contending Bengals and I know they're going to get some upgrades in Friday Super Bowl promo and Jamar Chase is likely going to get an NFL honors card as he is the favorite to win Offensive Rookie of the Year but I wanted to see what this team could look like now. So if you do enjoy this video, drop a like and subscribe so you can see future content. Most of the content I post is theme team related as that is my passion in Madden 22, building the best theme teams. And I just started setting like goals the other day to gauge how much you guys like each of these theme team videos I present. So we'll set a small goal of 25 likes today. All right, so let's get into the team. Looking at the offensive line, this is a really good offensive line, probably the best out of any of the theme team duos that I've done. Starting at left tackle, we have Andrew Whitworth, 97 overall. John Hanna, 96 overall at left guard. David Andrews, 96 overall at center. Quinton Spain, 97 overall at right guard. And Trent Brown, 97 overall right tackle. And these are all their actual positions. Normally, I have to shift some stuff around with secondary positions to get the best offensive linemen. But these are all of their primary positions. Uh, starting at tight end, we have Rob Gronkowski with Jonu Smith backing him up. At quarterback, we have the best quarterback in the game with Tom Brady, 99 overall. He gets those two baked on abilities of Gunslinger and Hot Route Master for six ability points. He can also get Escape Artist and three other tier three ability slots um, if you want to add that onto him. And then Carson Palmer is going to be his backup as a 96 overall. We couldn't put Joe Burrow on the team, unfortunately, because Carson Palmer is the Team Diamonds 2 card for the Bengals, so he gets times 3 chemistry. At running back, we have a couple options here, one with Corderell Patterson and Fred Taylor, both of them 97 overalls. At fullback, we're going to have to use that Marshawn Lynch 90 most feared card. He gets fullback secondary position, and he gets any team chemistry with that 90 card. From what I have heard, he does not get um, any team chemistry with his power up or his new 95 Super Bowl pass card that came out. Um, and then we have Charlie Joyner as our wide receiver, 197 overall. Brandon Cooks, 96 overall. And I put Jamar Chase as the wide receiver three. He's faster um, than Antonio Brown. That was the next option available. And plus Jamar Chase is going to get a, an upgrade very soon, I have a feeling. Um, and then we have, have to use Emmanuel Sanders and TJ Hushmanzada um, at wide receiver four and five because Emmanuel Sanders is the all AFC card for Harvest and Hushmanzada is the Team Diamonds one card for the Bengals. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the key stats for uh, the top playmakers. But before I do that, I just want to quickly review the required cards here on the offense. So Isaiah Wynn, backup left tackle. He is the stocking stuffer for the Patriots. Roger Saffold, backup left guard, is the all-AFC card for the playoffs, so he counts for both teams. And then we have Emmanuel Sanders, I just mentioned. He's the all-AFC card for the Harvest program. Kevin Falk at third running back. He's the Team Diamonds one card for the Patriots. And both fullbacks, those are the only two options, so you need to make sure you have both of those in your lineup. And then TJ Huchmanzada at wide receiver five. He's the Team Diamonds one card for the Bengals. Looking at the uh, key stats here, Tom Brady, 99 overall. Like I said, he's got 82 speed, 97 throw power, 99 short accuracy, 99 medium accuracy, 98 deep, 97 throw under pressure, 90 throw on the run, and 90 play, 99 play action. And this is his 99 card. This is not him powered up. Um, and th this is the one that you want to use because you get those baked on abilities with the cheaper ability points. If you power put this card into his power up, he will get increased stats for a couple things like his speed and throwing the run, anything that's not 99, obviously. But you're going to lose those baked on abilities. And if you want to use those, you're going to have to pay more ability points for them. Cordero Patterson, 238 pounds, 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 95 agility, 90 carrying, 91 catch, 93 change of direction, 83 trucking, and 96 break tackle. Fred Taylor does have a higher trucking. Uh, it's definitely over 90. His weight is a little bit lighter, um, not that light. I think he's about 225 pounds, so definitely another good option. I just put in Patterson because I felt like he was better personally. Uh, Charlie Joyner at wide receiver one, 97 speed, 95 jumping, 95 catching, 96 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 95 short route running, 96 medium, and 97 deep. Definitely one of the best wide receivers in the game right now. A little shorter at 5'11", uh, so he's more of a slot archetype, uh, slot type of receiver. I believe that's actually his archetype also. Brandon Cooks, uh, 5'10", 95 speed, 89 jumping, uh, 95 catch, 95 catch in traffic, 93 spec catch, 91 short route running, 93 medium, and 95 deep. 
And then Rob Gronkowski as our tight end. He's got 91 speed, 89 strength, 95 catching, 97 catch in traffic, 96 spec catch, 91 short route running, 86 medium, and 91 run block. He's also six foot six. And these stats are without the team chemistry boost that they get. So any Patriot is going to get plus two to speed, strength, acceleration, agility, and jumping. And then any Bengals, so Charlie Joyner will get plus one to those five categories. Looking at our defense, our cornerback one is going to be Sean Springs, a 97 overall. It keeps the lead, 96 overall cornerback two. And Ty Law, another 96 overall cornerback three. And you can interchange him and Dar- Darrell Brevis. They both literally have almost the same exact stats. They're the same exact height at 5'11", um, the same exact speed. Pretty much everything is within one or two uh, of each of each other. Our starting free safety is going to be Logan Ryan, 98 overall, with Jordan Whitehead behind him. He is the all NFL card that came out for the playoffs promo, so he gets all NFL chemistries. Uh, so you want to make sure he's in the lineup. We're going to choose John Lynch as our team captain for our strong safety, and Rodney Harrison is going to be the backup strong safety, who's pretty slow. I think he's got about 92 speed powered up, uh, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is there. But he's the team diamonds two card for the Patriots. So you definitely are going to need him in the lineup. For our linebackers, we have um, Akeem Davis gathers at right outside linebacker, Junior Seau, middle linebacker, and A.J. Hawk as our middle linebacker two, with Matthew Judon as our starting left outside linebacker. And for the defensive line, we have Jordan Willis as our right end with D.J. Ritter, Reeder and Vince Wilfork as our defensive tackles, and Akeem Hicks as our starting left end. For the required cards here, Jordan Whitehead again, the backup free safety, um, we have Marcus Bailey, the backup left outside linebacker. He's the stocking suffer card for the Bengals. Then we have Rodney Harrison, backup strong safety, Team Diamonds two card for the Patriots. Uh, DJ Reader, defensive tackle. He is that gridiron forge card that just came out for the Bengals. So you definitely going to need him in the lineup. And then JC Jackson, cornerback five. He is the gridiron forge one card, also the stocking stuffer master that came out, but he gets time to two chemistry for the Patriots. Looking at the stats of our key players, Logan Ryan is 5'11 with 95 speed, 97 acceleration, 89 tackling, 96 play rec, 94 pursuit, 96 man coverage, 97 zone coverage, and 79 hit power. So definitely more of a coverage uh, safety rather than a hard hitting um, run support safety. He can get to 99 speed. If you have those rare strategy cards that give speed boost to defensive backs, uh, his speed is 95. He'll get to 97 with the theme team boost. So he can get to 99. John Lynch is six foot two with 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 94 tackling, 93 play rec, 92 pursuit, 86 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, and 96 hit power. Sean Springs is six feet tall with 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 94 agility, 96 jumping, 96 play rec, 91 man coverage, 96 zone, and 93 press. Akeem Tlaib, six foot one with 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 92 agility, 96 jumping, 93 play rec, 96 man coverage, 93 zone, and 96 press. And Ty Law, 5'11", the shorter of the uh, starting cornerbacks that we're going to use is 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 95 agility, 96 jumping, 92 play rec, 95 man, 95 zone, and 96 press. So really good looking card, just a little shorter than I'd like. We're going to put him in the slot because of that. And again, these stats are without those uh, theme team boosts. So all of our Patriots, which are all five of these guys, are going to get plus two to speed, acceleration, agility, jumping, and strength. So... Uh, we're going to have 97 speed for Ty Law, Akeem Tlaib, 98 speed for Sean Springs, 97 for Logan Ryan, and 96 speed for John Lynch. Looking at our special teams, we have um, Jake Bailey as our punter, Nick Falk, the best kicker in the game, as our kicker. The specialists, I put in Isaiah Simmons and Derwin James as our sub linebackers. I do this pretty much for every single team because I believe they are the two best safeties in the game because of their combination of size and their coverage skills and their speed. I'll show you their stats in a second. Um, But I chose Matthew Judon and Richard Seymour as our uh, edge rushers. I chose Richard Seymour because he's actually the only edge rusher on the team that has over 90 finesse move. And I personally like to have over 90 finesse move uh, and power move if possible, but definitely over 90 finesse move for my outside edge rushers. Um, And then we have Jordan Willis and Vince Wolfork as our interior defensive tackles. Um, Ty Law is going to be our slot corner, uh, quarter of Patterson for the third down and power back. And then Brandon Cooks is our slot wide receiver because he's the shortest out of the wide receivers that we have. 
Uh, if you haven't seen the stats for these two guys, Isaiah Simmons is six foot four, 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 change of direction, 96 pursuit, 88 tackling, 97 hit power, 97 man coverage, and 96 zone coverage. And Derwin James is six foot two with 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 93 change of direction, 96 pursuit, 91 tackling, 98 hit power, 88 man coverage, and 95 zone coverage. So two awesome looking cards here. If you have those rare strategy cards that give speed boost to defensive backs, Isaiah Simmons is going to be at 98 speed, and Derwin James is going to be at 99 speed, no theme team required, which is awesome. And last thing, there are no open or flex spots on this team, so all playbooks, uniform, stadium, and your coach will need to be either one of these teams. With this setup that I just showed you guys, I have all of those set for the Patriots. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did or found it helpful, drop a like and subscribe so you can see future content. And if you'd like to see a specific 50 plus 25 theme team or a triple 25 theme team, let me know in the comments and I will put it on the list. And thank you for watching.